The author of No Time for Karma is Paxton Roby. I'm Bob Keaton. I have the advantage of speaking with him for a few moments here. Paxton, what about timing? Here we are, we're halfway through 2012. All the prophecy is pointing to these amazing things that are going to be or should be happening right now. And I don't have a sense of timing at all. Do you? I, I get a sense of timing. It doesn't seem to match what I hear other people saying or, uh, you know, it's hard to tell what's happening on the planet because there are no free news services. There's no um, reporting of anything that is significant in terms of shift, change, awakening, that sort of thing. That just does not make the evening news. So I, I have a feeling myself that we're in a 20-year process. The other end of the 20 years, when I close my eyes and look, is, is pretty fantastic, pretty fabulous. A whole lot of shift has taken place by that time. But 2012, hmm, 2012 to me feels like a starting point. Uh, of course, Aquarian energy started many years ago, and lots of shifts are obvious in terms of technology, communication, spiritual awakening is everywhere. That's kind of obvious. But in terms of turning the earth into a Garden of Eden, a place where everybody would like to live, a place with a different worldview, with a different type of education system, with a different type of uh, political uh, philosophy, uh, economic philosophy, it just um, feels like that takes a while. It feels to me like for that to outpicture. Now that doesn't mean it hasn't started. How do we tell if the shift is really underway right now? I think that has to be an intuitive process. I think we have to go check for ourselves and see how things feel to each one of us separately, individually. Uh, we would love to have, um, you know, the um, uh, chart you see for Christmas and the Salvation Army and our goal is all this and what percentage have we attained and all that. We'd like to have a chart for awakening like that, but we just don't have it. So it, it's, it's look for awakening in individuals. Look for more caring. Look for more humanitarianism. And I don't mean oppose evil. I mean look for awakening. Uh, we don't need to focus on what's still to be done. We want to focus on where we're going since consciousness creates reality on the, in this illusion that we call life. We want to look for what we want, not what we want to get rid of. One thing you've said repeatedly, and I think it comes right out of the Course in Miracles, is when we look outside ourselves, the only thing we see is a reflection. What we are, now, that, that's a good, good point. Yeah, I'm um, trying to roll this into the timing question, you know, if all I see is what <laughs> is out there, that's in me, then, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Oh, gosh. We've lately been talking about, Ann and I and some other friends have been talking about absolute reality versus relative reality. Now, absolute reality is not of interest to most people because they just can't grasp it, just can't comprehend it. In absolute terms, there are no problems. In absolute terms, everybody is source, everybody is God, everybody does not have a problem. Everything is going swimmingly, if you want to talk about it in absolute terms. In relative terms, or in terms of our ego's experience, our ego's judgments on life, you know, uh, then um, we have to take a step at a time. Then we have to uh, look at things and say, uh, are we making progress? Absolute terms, there's no such thing as progress. We don't have any place to go, we never left home, everything's fine, but we, we have trouble grasping that. So to, depends on what language we're using, I guess. One more thing about timing. 
there is that date, December 21st, 2012, that's been put out many times and refuted many times, too. Is that a real date that we can measure something by, or would you say not so much? I have never gotten a feeling about December 21st. There's nothing that if I tune into it, I don't get a, oh, this is about this or this is about that. Personally, I don't pick up anything about a date. I see a continuous progress, a continuous movement towards people tuning into people, people caring about people, enlightenment happening as a slow progressive thing, which, you know, takes, takes a bit of the uh, pop, bang, and boom away from it. It's not an instantaneous type of thing. It's not triggered, tied into a date or anything. It just uh, evolves, more of an evolvement. If we are the product of the choices we've made yesterday, then it's going to be very hard for me to know what changes have taken place in me over the past 5, 10, 15 years. I probably won't notice it. You know, I'll be bringing all of what I had with me, and, and change from inside my eyes is going to be very subtle, I would think. I think it is, and I don't think that matters. I, actually, I think that's the way we want it. We don't want to be looking at where I was, focusing on where I used to be how blind I used to be, uh, compare it to how I see now. We want to keep our eyes on the goal, and the goal is total enlightenment. The goal is total awakening. The, go you know, the goal is total happiness. And it is not necessary to, uh, for anybody to um, focus on how unhappy they were, or how difficult things were, or you know, our personal history that we've gotten so much mileage out of by making people feel sorry for us or uh, empathetic for us or what have you. We, we don't care about our history anymore. We just care about where we're going. From that perspective, then, the question about timing is almost irrelevant, isn't it? It is. We, we're slipping in this line between relative reality and absolute reality. You know, relatively, if we don't want to believe that we are God yet, if we still want to believe that we have limits and limitations and uh, can't express divinity in our own being yet, uh, then, okay, then, then where we're going, how much progress we make and all that is significant. But we don't really want that. A lot of epiphanies happening. Today there's so many epiphanies that are that appear to be instantaneous awakenings for people in terms of near-death experiences, uh, in terms of uh, uh, people having some sort of dramatic problem in their life, dramatic shift, dramatic confrontation, dramatic challenge, which makes them review, reverse, recreate uh, their whole being, their whole approach to everything. Now, that to me, that's very exciting. That, that's a sign of the times, people having instantaneous shifts in their consciousness, in their awareness, some to the point of you know, many of the near-death experiences. People say, I was in heaven. You know, I didn't want to come back. This is where it's at. That's what we want to do. And they come back as a different person. They don't think the same anymore. They don't have the same goals in life. They want to do everything differently. They now care about people. Uh, we were watching a, a story of one person's near-death experience, and he, he came back and he said, I just love everybody. I can't help it. You know, now, since, uh, since my experience, I'm in love with every human being. That's where we want to go. That's where, where we're headed. On the web, Paxton Roby is available with a lot more information at notimeforkarma.com.